Do you want to go to the beach? Yeah, okay. We are going to Moonstone Beach. So we came to Moonstone Beach. want to come hang out on this back side here where we're kind of away from the ocean and but it's kind of fun for them they love it they got all these rocks to explore on and a little river to play in and it also gets away from the noise of the ocean so it makes it a lot easier to talk because talking is talking is what I'm doing today I just realized I forgot my little wind muff can't ever not forget nothing. That was very negative. <laughs> I'm gonna try to protect you guys from the wind as best I can, but uh, it's a nice day at the beach. This is day three that Hillary has been gone. Uh, so two nights now she's been gone. She's coming back later today, but Mushi got more sick. Noah got a little better. Eli was never too bad, I guess. Noah did puke this morning. <laughs> And Eli, and and she's got a fever on oh, just that cough that makes you feel real bad for him because it's all dry. I put the humidifier in the room for her to sleep with and stuff, but she's just been extra clingy. I know she misses her mommy, and just being sick really doesn't help that. I've been doing my best to be super dad, and uh, she just really wanted to snuggle a lot. And it's, it's, I can't deny her, obviously, but when that little bottom lip comes out and she starts doing that, that's just. My tea, I want you to be better, tea. But I don't, I don't mind all the extra snugs, that's for sure. Huh, tea. Are you okay? Still feeling sicky. Come on, my wa. So I've, I've really got three main goals when it comes to this channel. Three main reasons that I make these videos. One is for me, just to have fun with creative outlet. That's definitely third reason. Second reason is for them to capture all the growing up and all this stuff that's happening that I, I'm probably gonna miss, definitely gonna miss when I get older. And that's number two. And then number one, which is more important than number three or two, is to communicate with you, which is not always the easiest thing to do sometimes. It's just complicated trying to talk to a bunch of people at once that aren't talking back to you in the moment that you're talking to them. That's, that's challenging. It's challenging, especially in some days, it's hard for me to even come... See? See? Form a cohesive sentence. When I say communicate, I don't just mean tell a joke. What I do mean maybe make you laugh, make you feel something for sure. Really feel something. That's, that's the best communication I can possibly achieve through videos when somebody actually feels something from me, which means I need to be 100% honest with everything I'm saying with what I'm feeling. That's how I feel about it. And it's not the easiest thing to do, as anybody who's recorded themselves on camera will tell you. You can't help but think about the fact whether it's two people, 50 people, 100 people, 1,000 people, doesn't matter. The fact that somebody else is gonna be watching, it has an effect on what you're gonna say. There's no, I mean, there's, the only way to really get away from it is if you had somebody else recording you and you didn't know it. That's the only way you can really not have it affecting you at all. And it's something I've been working on for years at this point and it's still not the easiest thing to do. I, I just wanted to tell you guys that it's not easy um, for me to do that. But it is important to me and I, you know, I'm probably overthinking it. Chances are I'm overthinking it. I tend to overthink lots of things and this is just not, this is just another one of them. So, I don't know, I've just been thinking too much lately about it, just the past few days, I guess, just wanting to really fully communicate myself, which is not, it's just not easy, man. When you got however many minutes that the YouTube video ends up being to like try and communicate everything you're about to somebody in that small time, it's just not possible. You can't do it. It takes multiple videos, multiple takes, yeah. because how I'm feeling changes throughout the day, and depending on how I'm feeling when I'm filming the video, or you know, day to day it changes, so it, I don't know. I don't know. I've met a lot of really cool people in person, because of doing this, 
which was the goal, was to reach out and find people out there in the world. And that's been literally like hundreds, hundreds of you guys, if not thousands, maybe not multiple thousands, but maybe close to a thousand mark of people that I've spoken with in person because of these videos, uh, easily at this point, which is a lot for me. Like, well, that's a lot, 10 is a lot for me. So when you're talking about hundreds, and the, the thing is, every single person that I've talked to in relation to this community has been awesome, has had something good about them that they have to offer to the world and that they offer, offer to me and affected me in a good way, which is, uh, shouldn't blow my mind too much, I guess. People in general are good, I think. The majority of people in the world are good and the majority of the time have feelings of doing good things and being good people. I think that's true. I just found a big flat rock and I skipped two times. Nice, bud. I think I just came to terms with the fact that the feelings that I'm feeling are too complicated to try and express in a few words on a camera. So I'm just gonna accept my defeat there. <laughs> and Noah, you wanna come take over for me? What do you know? I know. Chickens? What about chickens? That they're a type of bird and they're pretty much flyless. Many people keep them as pets and a chicken's a female. Not, uh, 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 not the rooster. No, the hen's the female. You could call a hen a chicken. Yeah, but you can call a rooster a chicken. I didn't know that. I'm pretty sure. Right? So. Right? You okay down there, Mushi? Um, Eli already did one. I filmed it. What? What happened? Eli already did what do you know. What do you mean the Eli already did what do you know? I filmed it. Ah! Hey, Eli, what? What do you know? I know. What about raccoons? That they like to swim and they climb trees and go in their nest and that's all I know. It's really deep down in here. Oh yeah? Probably not as deep as Daddy was trying to get. You could swim in there, I think. No, I'm pretty sure I was sinking. No, it's not that deep. Yeah, apparently not. I got dead on the rock. I was hoping that was gonna work for me too. I feel like I still sank, but I think what I'm really trying to say at this point is I really miss Hillary. <laughs> Loud, isn't it? Eli, but Eli wants to go to Morro Bay where it's not so loud. <laughs> Bigger than that? Is that it? I thought you had a bigger one than that. Ow! So thank you guys for joining us uh, on our little coast adventure here. Uh, maybe next time I'm planning on sharing my deepest, deepest feelings and thoughts, I'll plan it out a little better so that it actually happens and, and works. She's had enough. We're going to go see if mommy got home. We didn't bring the phone, so if she is home, she has no way to get a hold of us right now. 
I'm sure these guys want to see them. I want to see how our trip went. And yeah, maybe in another video we'll scrape down beneath this light tan skin and see the black soul beneath. Ooh, nice tan surface, but black. How was the trip? Take two. It was amazing. It was so good. It was perfect. Just long enough to where I was like really anxious to get home today, but also like much needed and yeah. I'm not glad she got sick, but I'm glad she got sick after I left because otherwise I probably wouldn't have gone. All right, I've got, I got, I got things to do. Aloha! Any snake at all, scrub python or not, being handled by an unexperienced handler like my daughter um, is generally not going to do so well like this. You know, we worked with this snake for a long time to get it to a point where she was comfortable, or at least very tolerant of being handled by people.